So good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to the first joint CANSI UC conference in beautiful UBC uh, campus in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, give yourselves a hand. So for those of you that came to yesterday's keynote event, uh, the Blue Dot Economics, uh, Rethinking Economics for a Healthy Environment, you can sense uh, that there's an energy in Vancouver, uh, and, and an energy just to, uh, this day and age. Um, with the up upcoming climate negotiations in Paris, I'll borrow a phrase from another social movement. There's a sense that we are being confronted with a fierce urgency of now. And this was captured yesterday by the passionate uh, talks at the opening keynote uh, with Andrea Reimer's passionate plea for uh, Vancouver to be the greenest city. Uh, you know, we want this to happen. We have this goal ahead of us that we are trying to, to, to get at. Uh, Marin Smith's desire for a clean energy future. These campaigns, are, and many more of them, are, uh, show that the, the need is there for ecological economic ideas. So uh, to start the conference, I would like to recognize that we are in unceded territory of the Coast of Salish people. Uh, we could do them no better uh, that tribute than to follow the battle dance that we saw yesterday um, and follow Miles Richardson, Miles Richardson's advice uh, to put that energy uh, towards a vibrant exchange in the conference, making new connections uh, between research and practice. And that is what uh, the societies for ecological economics are all about. And I think that's what our research is all about, uh, putting that research into practice. So um, what I'd like to do is have uh, Mary, who is uh, a First Nation elder from the coastal uh, First Nation, the Musqueam First Nation, which is about five minutes. Five minutes, really? <laughs> away from here, uh, so um, please um, take that time for, for a welcome to the conference. I think we can probably move it a little bit. I know. Thank yeah, right. you. No problem. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so very honored and delighted to be here this morning to welcome you to our beautiful city of Vancouver where the sun always shines. And um, enjoy yourselves while you're here. It's beautiful, there's so much to see. I'm from the Musqueam Reservation, which is about five minutes drive from here. And I must thank my, my driver that brought me in this morning, Jonna. Jonna standing at the door and she's just great. She drives me here and there. Thank you, Jonna. And, and uh, as we do in our tradition, we start our day with a little prayer, but you know you're more than welcome to stay seated and enjoy your coffee and prepare for the day. Thank you, Great Spirit, for this new day. So much like yesterday and yet so very special, thank you for family, friends, casual acquaintances and strangers I meet only once. They're all part of your plan and in my life for a reason. Bless them today, Great Spirit, as you meet their needs and guide them accordingly to your will. Let us be one with our brothers and sisters in love and peace. Make us strong mentally, physically, and spiritually to lead the way for future generations and make this world a better place to live. May all your blessings and kindness be bestowed on everyone here this morning, near or far, together or apart. Keep our loved ones close until we meet again. May your days be rich with joy. May your successes be frequent. May you have peace and comfort. And may your hearts know just how great you all are. Haichka. Hi, Chad, my dialect is thank you. I thank you all for this great honor, and I wish you well in all your endeavors. Hi, Chad. Hi, So. <coughs> Thank you. 
Uh, I, the theme of the conference, uh, just um, if you hadn't thought of, I guess, what went into the theme, uh, Pathways for Change Towards a Just and Sustainable Economy. Pathways for Change is a set of strategies for policy change, from grassroots to large leaps, coalitions, messaging frameworks, policy windows, power politics. We need all of these options for the changes that we would like to see. The just and sustainable economy relates to largely the goals of ecolog ecological economics, environment and social justice, uh, and living within our limits. These are ends that drive ecological economists, and the conference is a great opportunity to get these ideas out, to communicate them. There are, of course, many people to thank at the conference. Um, Jonathan Harris. Uh, is the other president of uh, the Canadian Society, sorry, the Pre U.S. Society for Ecological Economics. I'm, of course, Andreas Link, uh, the Canadian Society uh, president. Uh, Michelle Molner, who just escorted Mary out, uh, is the conference chair. And uh, Rumi Shaman is the conference chair for the U.S. Society. Uh, there is an entire planning and uh, scientific subcommittees uh, that help make this happen, so everything from reviewing uh, submissions to all of the logistics locally and otherwise. Uh, we thank them dearly. Uh, all of the volunteers, you saw the volunteers uh, at the front desk there, uh, we wouldn't be uh, far as far along if it wasn't for them. Of course, there's uh, sponsors and partners, the David Suzuki Foundation, Earth Economics, Ivy Foundation, Sitka Foundation, the Extra Environmentalists, uh, USGS, Biophysical Economics, Gund Institute, Oberlin College, the College of uh, Environment, Science and Forestry, State of University of New York, uh, Department of Community Sustainability, Michigan State, uh, Department of Natural Resource and Environment, uh, University of Hawaii in Manoa. Um, so I'd like to hand it over to Jonathan before we introduce our first two speakers um, to say a few words. Okay, a very few words. I'm just delighted to be here, delighted to have our first joint conference with uh, Kansi. I'm delighted to see um, all of you and be reminded of the very important work that you're all doing and which we hope will be advancing in the next few days. Um, wanted to acknowledge also um, the work of the people who prepared the program and the website, as Jason Dion and Katie Kish. Um, and the work of all the volunteers and people who put in time and effort on the scientific committees and um, in other ways to um, make this conference work. Um, just a quick sort of programmatic announcement. Um, everybody has the program and in your program there is inserted a list of chair people and a list of late changes. Um, and since my name was on a lot of the emails that went out, a lot of those late changes came to me right up to last night. Um, and we did our best to keep up with them. Um, but you will, f uh, you will find that there are, some, there are a couple of changes other than those listed on the late changes. So I just wanted to mention that so that people are not confused about that. Um, a couple of people had problems with visas or health reasons were unable to travel. Um, so uh, there may be a few um, people missing from sessions. Um, there are two sessions, the Global and Regional Sustainability um, Friday at 10.30 and the Climate, Environment, and Health Sunday at 1, which now lack chairs. So I'm going to ask anyone in those sessions to please step in and do the duties of chair, which are very simple. Just introduce the speakers and keep time. Um, and I would also like to ask people to be flexible. If it turns out that your session is down to two or even one speaker, go ahead, you know, as it um, states on the program. But it, if you're shortened, then you might er end a little early and let people migrate to other sessions. Um, and if any chairs get somebody coming to their session totally unannounced who says, well, Jonathan sent me to present here, please welcome them in. We won't send more than four per session. Um, and if anyone has a problem with scheduling, um, go to the desk or um, come to Michelle. me. Um, oh, and Michelle Molnar um, at the back there um, next to the door um, is uh, another person to go to in case of any problems with rooms or support, or Lena Gunlagsen at the uh, um, support desk. And in general, if anything goes wrong, go to the support desk and they will fix it. No. <laughs> Great.
Well, that would be an interesting take. Okay, over in the corner there, the students, Jen and has a whole, there's a whole E4A contingent over there, and there'll be many speakers over the course of the conference uh, from the... Uh, Rich, is, Rich is a collaborator in the project. There you go. Um, so again, there's a diverse group, 25 uh, different academic government uh, and NGO partners uh, to contribute. Uh, the E4A's overarching goal is to articulate, teach, and apply new understandings of the human-earth relationships uh, um, grounded in, in uh, and informed by the insights of contemporary science. Uh, of which uh, our current institutions are not necessarily so. Uh, this vibrant international research network uh, also trains uh, f future leaders for the Anthropocene. So we have all of these challenges. Uh, this project uh, seeks to, to create this network and then tr train these leaders uh, to, 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 to look at tackling these problems. So the book, Ecological e Economics for the Anthropocene, an Emerging Paradigm by Columbia University Press is now outside and it's special price for the conference is uh, $35. Um, each essay contributes to this uh, emerging revolutionary agenda. So I'm gonna introduce uh, Peter and John and then I'll ask Peter to come up first. Uh, and followed by John, there'll be probably about 20 minutes uh, question and answer. You have cards on your table. Uh, uh, if you have questions, write those down on the cards, just so we have a modicum of, of organization, and then uh, we'll take in those questions afterwards. Uh, also put your name down so that I can then, if there is a rebuttal, we can uh, go to that, um, that person. So Peter Brown uh, is a professor at uh, the School of Environmental Studies at McGill. Uh, he is the principal investigator of economics for the Anthropocene. Um, before his work at McGill, he was a professor of public policy at the University of Maryland's uh, Graduate School of Public Affairs. He is a member of the Religious Society of Friends and the Club of Rome. He is currently a research scholar at the Center of uh, Humans and Nature. So we're very lucky to have him. I'm going to introduce next uh, uh, John Erickson, uh, is a professor of ecological economics and the interim dean of the Rubenstein School of Environment and Natural Resources at the University of Vermont. His books include uh, Frontiers in Ecological Economics Theory, a number of ecological economics texts. Um, he, he's been an uh, Emmy Award winning producer of films, um, and he was a ma managing director for UVM's Gund Institute for Ecological Economics from 2009 to 2012, and the past uh, president for UC. So he knows what this conference planning is all about and the conference is all about. He's also on the steering committee for uh, ecological economics, uh, sorry, economics for the Anthropocene. So